On today's Solo Saturday, we play Shadow Rift 2nd Edition. All right, guys, how's it going? It's Lee with Geek City USA, and today we're going to play Shadow Rift 2nd Edition. Now, this is a game that was sent to me that uh, I love deck builders. Let me start by saying that. But this was a game that was sent to me that I started messing around with to get an understanding on how the game played, and I played it over and over and over again. I absolutely love it. Um, I found it to be pretty difficult. The, uh, they recommend when you first start out that you play against the dragon faction. Um, there's different factions of monsters that you could play against. Uh, and the dragon faction is incredibly difficult, and I was never, I never did very well against them. Um, so today we're going to play against the, uh, let's see here, the Storm Lords. And the Storm Lords are, they have uh, a secret, or secret power, a monster power, where they have tempests that are going to really mess with us and hurt us. So um, again, I haven't had this game too long. I've probably played it about a dozen times. Uh, I really enjoy it. I'm going to get some rules wrong, I'm sure, so feel free to comment down below what I might mess up. Uh, I will say the biggest struggle that I'll have is there are different rules. So typically you would follow through this, uh, this here where you draw cards, refresh town, and so on. But when you play with uh, the solo uh, variant, you actually go through and after the monsters do our, all their stuff and the heroes act, you do cleanup, you redo these things here and then you skip the monster phase and the heroes act again. So uh, a lot of times I'll get confused as to, did I, act, did I make the monsters act or not? So I'm gonna to try to use this. Uh, what this is for is typically when you play with multiplayer, you'll put this in front of the next person who's do a heroism card. Um, in this case, I'm gonna to try to use this to remind me that, okay, it's time that next the monsters are gonna act again. So hopefully it'll work out for us, um, but I'll show you here, here are the solo variants um, and you'll see, in, there's a little bit of extra here. The, after the cleanup, you're going to repeat step one, two, three, and seven and eight. So uh, again, hopefully I'll do well here with the rules. I may miss a few things, but uh, yeah, definitely call it out in the comments below. And I'll also do my best to get the cards up to you as you can see what is going on here. So I'm going to start and step one says to draw cards. So we're going to draw five cards in typical deck builder fashion. And we'll take a look here and I have uh, four prowess and a strike. Now a strike lets me do one melee damage to uh, my opponent and the prowess lets me buy things here. You'll see like each of these cards will have a value on the bottom, typical of deck builders, and that's what you need to purchase or how much prowess in this case you need. I would need three to buy this frenzy. Um, but I've got my cards here in hand. I'll just set them here for right now. Uh, next step is to refresh the town. So what you're gonna do is you have the town square and these are your villagers that are going to appear. Now they're each going to have a different symbol like you see a hammer and a shield. In this case, the mayor has a crown and they all give the players um, this what's called aid. And in this case, aid gain a coin. And, but what's gonna happen is the monsters will kill them as the game goes on and they are replaced with these corpse cards. And you'll see here, and um, at the start of each round, if there are all villains or corpses in the town, you die, you lose, you lose the game. The heroes were not able to save the town. You win if you close the shadow rifts. And in a solo game, there's two shallow, shadow rifts in this deck. And what you need to do is you need to seal them. And you have this card that you'll see here. Um, it has a couple of different options. You may put a card from the monster power area on the bottom of the monster deck or, or and you can, if you pay one additional uh, of one of those symbols, you can seal a shadow rift and play, removing it from the game. This earns one heroism for the party. Now I have two in there in the solo game, so hopefully we'll do okay. Um, once we refresh the town, we're going to refresh travelers. So you have this traveler deck that you'll flip and there are travelers that you'll see here if I pay three coins and four prowess, I would be able to add this traveler to my village discard deck or the town discard deck, and they would come into play later on and I would be able to use their skills. However, there are bad guys in this visitor deck as well. Unfortunately, I didn't pull any this time. I pulled a sage, which lets me gain a spell. Um, I have found that it's pretty difficult in the game because everything is so costly. Uh, it's a little difficult to bring in a lot of villagers or to build walls. So walls are another thing that you can do in addition to, she, um, to sealing the shadow rifts. You can build walls and if you ever have all walls in your town, you win as well. 
And you'll see here they each do, they have something that they do. Here's their cost at the bottom. But you'll see they're all pretty expensive. Um, so, you know, you could choose which one you want to buy, but they are costly. And so it's a, a risk reward of do I spend all my money and all my resources on building a moat, bringing in some people to help power, you know, powering my town up, or do I use all that in hopes of getting better weapons to attack the monsters and keeping those at bay? Um, I haven't found the right balance yet. I'm still learning it. So hopefully as this game goes on, um, I'll do okay. And uh, I'll learn more, but we'll see. So, okay, we did that. Now we refresh the travelers. Now the monsters act. There are no monsters. You always see what's coming up. So I see in this case, the next monster that's going to be there is a Storm Reaver. And it's going to cost six monster power to bring in. Each turn, the monsters are going to gain power based on the number of players and what's in the monster power area deck. Uh, on a solo game, they're it's going to be like we're playing three players, so they're going to gain three power each time. But then you'll see each monster is going to have these three um, actions that they can do, and a lot of them have things that are going to happen. You know, in this case, uh, what's it say? Ranged attacks against Storm Reaver gain wounds as if they were were melee. Melee. So when they come out, they'll be in the monster start section. They won't do any damage to us, but we'll be able to hurt them. But as they move on to different areas, when they move to monster one. They're going to activate number one, each hero would gain a wound, number two, so on. So um, that gets pretty dangerous. And if they ever get into the monster power area, you'll see these icons here. That is how much uh, power that they'll add for being in this area. So it, we really want to clear out the monsters before. And you'll, you'll get an idea how that goes as the game goes on. All right, so we are set up here. Let me clean this up a little bit because messy piles drives me nuts, and that's the best that we'll do for right now. So, okay, so now the, uh, the heroes are going to act. So, because we can't... Oh, actually, the monsters act. There are none. Monsters gain power. There's three of us in a solo game. You count as three. Add monsters. This is six here, like I said. Requires six power. We don't have that. So, we're not going to add monsters. So, now the heroes act. So, now I have four prowess and a strike. So the strike I would use to attack a monster. Unfortunately, at this stage of the game, there's nothing to attack. Um, so I'm not going to really worry about that. I'm going to set that aside now as though it's discarded already. And I'm going to look here at my village. And if I look at my village, in this case, the merchant will let me gain a coin. So I'm going to gain a coin. And what I do, right, wrong, or indifferent, is when I use a villager for their... Um, for their aid. I move them to the discard so that way as the game goes on I don't get confused if I have, have used them. So um, this here the mayor would let me play an extra card with that icon. Um, you're only allowed to play one of those per turn. So that's the seal, the thieving strike, the blessed smite. Um, but that again we don't have any of those so that's not going to matter. The guards would prevent against monster attacks. That's not going to matter. And the smith lets you pay one coin when you're attacking to deal one extra damage. Um, and now that's not anything that we're going to be able to do. So we have four prowess cards. And let's think about this. What do we want to do? I think we want to go with some kind of weapons if we can. Uh, we have Frenzy, which Frenzy lets us once per round you may discard a wound when attacking in melee. And if you do, you gain no wound that battle and deal plus one damage. So one thing to, uh, to note, when you attack a monster and melee damage, you're going to take a wound. And these are going to go into your deck. And you'll see here, you can pay two prowess to heal the wound, but this is just going to gum up your deck. So you'll draw and you'll have wound cards in your deck. And that'll really slow you down. Um, but we also have the Steving Strike, which does one melee damage. And it says, if you are not the first hero to attack this monster this round, gain a coin instead of a wound. Well, you know, I'm the only player that's going to be attacking. Um, let's, let's think about this here. So I have four prowess. Let's buy, we're just going to buy a strike. And this lets us have, we have some of these in our starter deck, one melee damage, and then if we pay two prowess, we can use it as a ranged attack instead. So we'll go ahead. Those are all gone. We are going to clean up. So here's our discard pile. Anything that I have out, I, I because some items are loot or spells that'll stay out. You'll clean up, you'll discard those if you need to. And then we're going to refresh the town. So all these villagers go away. We put them in the discard pile and we refill a town square. We have a guard, a stonemason, a farmer, a guard, and a child. Now the child 
is pretty helpful. You see the reaction, ignore any annihilation actions while the child is in play. So annihilation can make you lose the game instantly. I've not encountered one. I'm not sure if there's a specific group that or a certain card, but fortunately I've never run into that, so I'm, I'm happy there. Uh, then we will refresh the Traveler. So we didn't buy either of these, uh, so we can pick these two up. They will go on the bottom of the deck in any order we want, and then we'll replace them with two other visitors. So we got the Innkeeper and the Prince. I would really like the Prince because the Prince lets us draw three cards. So obviously with a deck builder, more cards in your hand is better. Uh, innkeeper, each hero heals an affliction from their discard pile or draws a card. Um, and actually, even before I did that, I should have drawn my five cards, but we know these are my five cards because I only had the ten to start with. Um, okay, so now we did that. We skip all the monster phases, and I'm going to put this here just to let me know that on the next turn, I have to activate the monsters. We're going to see if this will help me remember to always do this. So we'll skip all these things, and now the heroes are going to act again. The strike card is going to do me no good. I'm just going to set that aside for right now. Here's my discard pile. I'm going to set that here. I have an explore card, and what that lets me do is look at the top card of the Traveler deck, and I can put it on the bottom of the deck, and if I pay a dollar or a coin, I can put the top card of the monster deck on the bottom. Uh, I'm not really interested, although the Storm Reaver is pretty awful. He's got nine health, and he's going to come out on our next turn because he's six. Um, so maybe I want to pay the coin. Um, so I'm going to play this card to look at the top card of the Traveler deck. So, and that's a good thing I did. So we have this backstabber. Now this is one of the villains. So you'll see here when the town is revealed, if there's a guard in play, the backstabber, on the I'll put him on the bottom of the Traveler deck so he'd be out of the game. Otherwise, I would gain a wound or a, corp a corpse would be added to the town discard. Um, so because I looked at this, I can put this on the bottom of the deck and it keeps them from going into my town. Because everybody, good and evil, wants to come to town when we're hanging out. Uh, okay, so I did that. Do I want to spend my coin to put the top card of the monster deck in the discard pile? Boy, I, I'm not going to have a lot of strikes or a lot of attacks. And that nine, and that, that's going to cruise through here pretty quickly. I can't see myself easily defeating the Storm Reaver. So yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to pay this. This will go on the bottom of this deck. And this also will help me get to the Shadow Rift sooner. Oh, Wildstorm power. So <laughs> this is going to be awful for us. Um, you'll see here, whenever a monster takes a Tempest action, draw and resolve two cards instead of one. A hero who seals this gains a wound. So this is now in our monster power area immediately. Or actually, it will be uh, when we go through and activate the monsters. So that, that's pretty, uh, that, was, that was crummy. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, what else do we have here? I have this farmer here, which lets me gain a prowess. I can uh, gain one extra prowess. Um, the stonemason helps the walls cost a little less. I have three prowess left, so technically four. And let's get a, hmm. I'm going to take, do I want a Holy Aura? Hmm. I think I'm going to take a Holy Aura. And the reason I'm going to do that is because, again, when you do melee attacks, you're going to take a, take a wound. So this, if, as long as I keep paying to keep it in play, it will prevent me from taking a wound and I'll get to draw a card. So I'll put that, and it's cleanup time. So my deck's gone. I'm going to shuffle my deck now, just so that way it's ready to go. All right, now I'll draw cards. One, two, three, four, five. Here's what we drew. Looks like three prowess, a strike, and a holy aura. Now we're going to refresh the town so these guys all go away. I'm going to shuffle these. And we have a merchant, farmer, a smith, a mayor, and a guard. We'll refresh the travelers. These guys are... They're not interested in hanging out anymore. And we have a Master at Arms and a Vagrant. So now the Vagrant, because he's a red one, you'll see here it says a hero may pay one dollar or one coin to put Vagrant on the bottom of the Traveler deck. He just gums up your city. So he's immediately going to come from here into our town discard pile. Now the monsters are going to act. So we have no monsters, so they're not going to act. Um, we will Monsters will gain power, so they're going to gain three power. And now we'll add monsters. So this guy here, this Wildstorm power, 
we'll reduce by one because that's going to cost one and that will immediately go into our monster power area. Actually, I'll just put that right here just so I can see it all the time. And this will get flipped back up and our next one is a, uh, uh, what is that? Naviros? It's a, a dragon boss. He kills the, the book icon and so each of these villagers have an icon. So whichever one has that icon, he'll kill it when he enters play. That sucks. <laughs> and then he does Tempest, each hero gains a wound and Annihilation. This guy is awful. We could lose the game with this guy. That's not good. But fortunately, he costs eight. They now only have five, so we won't have to have him in play until the next round. But unfortunately, there's nothing there for us to kill either. So we're not really gaining any benefit. All right, so now we move to the Heroes Act. So I have three Prowess, Holy Aura, and a Strike. What do I have down here? So the guard's going to protect my townies from monsters. I can play an extra um, card from the mayor. Pay an extra dollar to make damage, uh, deal additional damage. I can use the farmer to get that additional prowess, and the merchant lets me gain a coin. So I will gain a coin from the merchant, which I'll just move him over to here. And I technically have four prowess now to spend. Um, and we are going to... And if only I had five to spend. We are going to play our Holy Aura so that we can prevent a hero from gaining a wound. And I'm going to end up using the farmer's prowess to keep this alive during the cleanup phase. The strike does me no good. I have three prowess left. Um, I think I'm gonna take a frenzy. Once per round, once per round you may discard a wound card. You see that when attacking in melee. Sorry, I'm holding it all sideways. Uh, if you do, you gain no wound for that battle and deal plus one damage. Well, maybe I don't. Because then I have to pay to keep that. Let me... Uh, let's buy another strike. Let's, let's get some... Make sure we're going to be able to attack these monsters. So, all right. So, I will discard all of this now. That's our discard pile. And then we're going to do our cleanup. I used the farmers to pay for that and clean up because you see here it says I can pay one to keep it alive during cleanup keeps me from discarding that so then we're gonna go and we're gonna draw cards so I'll take five cards two three four five and I'll set them in front of me here we'll refresh the town so we see who comes to town Santa Claus coming to town bunch of guards the child so the child ignores annihilation which we hope the child's in play because I don't we might lose this game quick to be honest with you. Um, that scares me. And we'll refresh this guy. We've got the explorer and a heretic. Well, that's awful. So the heretic's gonna come into our town discard, the village discard. The first hero to play a spell this round gains a wound. A hero may pay the spell icon, uh, two of them to put the heretic on the bottom of the traveler deck. Well, that's no good. And then we will put this up here because the next round the monsters will act. All right. Oh, this couldn't have come at a better time. So we are going to look at the Traveler card. We got our Explore card. So we're going to look here at the Traveler deck. The Witch is coming next, which she lets us use as the spell power. We'll keep her on top. But I'm going to pay this coin and we're putting this bad boy to the bottom of the deck because I don't want to lose already which means this will come to the top of the deck. Ooh, that's awesome, which is a Shadow Rift. So when a Shadow Rift is sealed, it's removed from the game. If all Shadow Rifts are sealed, the hero wins. So that is really exciting for us. All right, so I played the Explore. I have a Strike, I have no monsters to kill. This is, this is rare, usually the monsters come out right away for me, but. All right, and with these three, uh, I will take the, let me think here. Um, do I want a strike or do I want a frenzy? I don't have any wounds yet, so I'm going to take another strike because when these monsters start coming through, I want to make sure I can get them. And that's it. Uh, cleanup phase. Well, that's kind of unfortunate. I have no more prowess, so I have to discard this holy aura because I can't pay the prowess to keep it in play. Uh, but then we will go ahead and we will draw cards. So I have two cards here, and I will shuffle up my discards. And we'll draw three, four, five. And then we'll refresh the town. Bye, guys. 
And we'll shuffle these up. Now we got a couple of bad guys in here, so we'll see what happens. So go guard, guard, guard. We're really safe this time. A smith and the mayor, which means our next batch is probably not going to be as good. We'll refresh our travelers. We have a witch that we knew was coming and the grave digger. The grave digger is cool because you could pay money to remove your corpse from, the, from play. Because as these monsters kill villagers, that's a good thing to have. Now the monsters will act. There are none. But the monsters will gain power and they'll gain one, two, three, four, me. And then because there's one icon here in the corner, we'll gain one more. So they now have nine. So we're going to see some monsters. The shadow rift is going to come in because we'll add monsters because it's zero. We'll flip this one. We have a Windcaster. So you see that it has six health. Tempest once per round when Windcaster takes damage. Tempest, unless a hero pays one. Tempest, each hero gains a wound. So these are pretty, pretty terrible. But so that one will go in the monster start. That costs four. So one, two, three, four. We'll see what the next one is going to be. Oh no, a Nimbus. So, uh, repeat. What does that say? Tempest when any monster, including this one, dies. So that's going to cost us three. One, two, three. And then the next one here is a six. So we're okay. We don't have to worry about that one right now. All right, now the hero is going to act. So let's see our cards. So this is good. We have a couple of strikes, a couple of prowess. What do we have down here? We have our smith, which, let, which lets us pay a coin to uh, give one extra damage when we attack. But... It's not going to do us any good because we don't have any money. We have no way of getting money this turn unless we buy it. So let's see. We could deal two melee damage. Um, actually, maybe we have four health or we have six health. Hmm. Yeah, what we're going to do, we're going to spend two prowess. We're going to buy a coin. We are going to play our two strikes which will be a, deal two damage, but I'm gonna pay a coin to deal a plus one damage. And we're gonna deal three damage to, let's see, uh, Tempest when any other monster dies, Tempest once per round when he takes damage. We're gonna give it to the Nimbus because I don't wanna to take too many Tempests uh, because if I kill him, we'll take a Tempest because of his power. And then we'll take another Tempest when he dies. So we'll do that. Uh, and then that leaves us a Prowess, which doesn't do anything for us. So we'll discard it. Clean up. Nothing to clean up. We'll take five cards. And we'll clear out the Villagers. One, two, three, four, five. Man, we have the Vagrant and the Heretic this turn. So you'll see we have less aid that's going to help us. And if I play a spell, I'm going to gain a wound. And I can pay a dollar or coin to put the Vagrant on the bottom of the deck. I don't know that we're going to want to waste our money. See, that's money is hard to come by. I find everything hard to come by. I feel like this game, you're really, really strung for, uh, for resources. But All right, so what do we end up with here? We got a couple of prowess, an explore, and a strike. We're going to put this because the next turn he is going to activate. Um... So we'll play the Explore card to look at the top card of this deck. Ooh, and it's the Robber. Now, the Robber typically makes things cost more money. So I'm very happy that we get to put that on the bottom of the deck. And I don't have a dollar to pay to put a monster on the bottom of the deck, so that's fine. I have three Prowess and a Strike. Oh, and I forgot, too, we did a melee damage to the Nimbus, so we took a wound for, the, for that. Uh, we're going to do another Strike. And we are going to kill the Nimbus. That's going to give us another wound in our discard pile. Because anytime you do melee damage, it does that. So that will be his fourth. Now he is dead. And, but we're going to look here and it says, Tempest, when any monster, including this one, dies. But we also have this Windstorm here, Wildstorm. Whenever a monster takes a Tempest action, draw and resolve two cards instead of one. A hero who seals this gains a wound. So... Which is interesting. I know you can use the seal to seal shadow rifts. Apparently, then you can use a shield, a seal to sh seal these as well. Uh, I've not encountered that before. But so we're going to do two tempests now because the wild storm says so. So the first one is a downpour. Discard a villager from play. Put any card in the villager spaces on the bottom of the traveler deck. Put any cards in the visitor spaces on the bottom of the traveler deck. 
Okay, so discard a villager from in play. Uh, we'll get rid of the heretic. Why not? And then put any cards in the vi visitor spaces on the bottom of the traveler deck. So they it rained on them and they said, forget it, we're out. And then the second card that we'll draw is a blinding flash. Uh, heroes may discard cards. If the total number discarded is less than the number of players, kill a villager and each hero gains a wound. Well, that stinks. So we definitely want to discard um, and I know for, and I have to check the rules on this one real quick because I know they say it considers that we're playing as three players. Yeah, the monsters gain power as if there were three players. So I'm going to take the assumption that I need to discard three cards. So I will discard these three cards to prevent from taking a wound. So he's dead, but we do gain a heroism because he has one faction icon. So we'll gain one of these. And what these are is they are a, a wild card. These are really good to have. Let you draw another card and you can use them for anything. So this guy here, since he's dead, he's going to go to the bottom of the monster deck. And that was, those tempests were difficult. Now we'll take these tempests back in and I believe we shuffle these. But we shuffle it on the cleanup step. And I bumped this. I hope that that was at two. I think it was. Okay. So that was, uh, where were we? Okay. Whoops. I knocked that over. That was the hero's act. Or the, yeah, the hero's act. That was all for killing a monster. All right. So now we have cleanup. So now we will shuffle the Tempest deck. And we will go ahead, this was on here. So now we're gonna draw cards. We'll take five, one, two, three, four. Shuffle this up. Now I'll say that doing this playthrough and recording it and kind of talking through it as I go, uh, it does prolong the game. It definitely doesn't feel this long um, when you're playing. So just understand that I'm sure this video will probably be an hour, hour and a half long. Um, that That's not always the case when you're playing the game. You'll probably lose far before then. So let's see, we'll shuffle our town discard because we're refreshing our town. And we have a heretic, which is unfortunate. A couple of visitors, we get the sage and the bard. And now the monsters will act. So what happens when the monsters act, and finally we're like, what, three, four turns in and they're just now acting for the first time. They will move, so this one moves to here, and then we're gonna do what it says in one says, Tempest, unless a hero pays the one spell. Well, let's see what we have in our hand, because I don't want a Tempest. Um, and here's, here's a conundrum here. If I play this, oh no, I would be paying this, so I'd just be discarding this, so I wouldn't be actually activating the spell. Um, we're gonna use this, I'll discard that to keep from a Tempest. So we're good there. So now the monsters will gain power. There's three of us, one, two, three, plus we have one, two icons in here. And then we will add monsters. So we're gonna add the Tornado Walker. Tornado Walker costs three power less if a heretic in play is in play. And wouldn't you know it, we have a heretic in play. Oh, that's awesome. And that, he's gonna kill a king, or the mayor, each hero gains a wound and tempest. So he's gonna cost three points the three power to bring him into play, which means we'll flip this one and he costs another Nimbus. So he's gonna cost three and he'll come into play. And then we'll flip this one here and a, a Zephyr, he's four. So we'll be okay till next turn. Now the heroes act and I have four cards. And let's see. Well, all right, so I'm gonna pay, what do I have here? Eight, I'm gonna gain a coin. We are going to play two strikes. And I'm gonna keep my prowess, because I can pay two prowess to use them as ranged attacks, and that prevents me from taking a wound. Uh, I really need these here. So I'm going to use those to attack. So I will do two damage to the Windcaster. 
but the Windcaster is going to Tempest once per round when I take damage. And this says whenever they Tempest, we're going to take two cards. So his, here's the time. First, a Bolt. We're going to kill a guard. So that stinks. So what happens when we do that? This guard here is going to go to the bottom of the Traveler deck. We can buy him back later. But we're going to add a Corpse card to our discard. Then we'll flip this next one here. Monsters gain one power per hero. So considering there's three of us, one, two, three. And these are going to go to the bottom of the Shadow Rift deck, and we shuffle them during cleanup. And then I have two prowess left, and I have a coin. And I can aid uses an additional prowess. Um, so I can have three prowess and a coin. I don't think I can buy a wall with that. No. Unfortunately, I cannot. So I am going to use... I'd like to buy a seal to start sealing that stuff up. I don't have it. Um, boy. I'm going to use these two. I'm going to buy a coin. We're going to need to start building some walls. So we're going to clean up. During our cleanup phase, we'll shuffle the Tempests. And we'll clear out the villagers. We have a smith, the child, the mayor. Oh, he's going to die, I think. The guard and the vagrant. We'll refresh these two. We have uh, the backstabber and the innkeeper. What the backstabber does is he is going to give the hero a wound, but if there's a guard in play, he, he takes care of the backstabber. So we're still okay, I think. Uh, we're going to put that there because they will activate next turn. I forgot to draw five cards. And, yeah, we're good there. Let's see what we have. So here we go. Here's where... Oh, and I didn't take... I did damage to that. I didn't take a wound. So that's going to go in my discard pile. Um, shoot. So I've got a couple coins. What do I want to do? I've got one prowess this turn. Nothing that adds a prowess. I'm going to use my two strikes on the Windcaster to do two more damage to him, which is going to activate Tempests. Which is going to be really lousy for me. This game is not going well. First is a Breeze. Heroes choose a monster. If it is damaged, it heals one. If not, shuffle and draw another Tempest. Well... It's damage that heals one, if not shuffle and draw another Tempest. Uh, I think I'll just let him heal one. I don't want to chance another Tempest outside of these two. The hero with the next heroism token discards a card. So that's me. If it's not a spell, each hero gains a wound. So, all right. Um, because it's one player game, it would be me. So I'm going to discard uh, a card. And it's not a... And if it's not a spell, which I have no spells in my hand, I'll discard the wound. Uh, I, because it wasn't a spell, I'm going to gain a wound. That's getting pretty lousy. So I will put these Tempests back here on the bottom. Which leave me with a wound and one prowess, which I can do absolutely nothing with. So those are discarded. That's it. Cleanup phase. We'll shuffle the Tempest deck. Ugh. You know, if, if we at least still had the... If I was playing the dragons, I'd probably be dead by now. Maybe that would be mercy. Five, so I'll draw cards. Refresh the town. We have one, two. We have a stonemason and a guard. We'll shuffle these up. We have a corpse, a merchant, and a guard. The innkeeper will go to the bottom of the deck. We have a prince and a master at arms. And then the monsters are going to act. So this one's going to move to two and it says Tempest, which means we're going to draw two and do them both. So we're going to start with Gust. Ranged attacks deal no damage for the rest of the round, which is fine. because I didn't. Oh, did I take a melee? Did I take a damage for doing a melee that last round? Ooh, see? 
all this talking and I'm not paying attention. Um, I don't think I took a, a, a card for doing the melee damage. I will take another wound. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Comment down below on that one. All right, and then our other Tempest is a Dust Devil. Each hero discards a wound or gains a wound. Well, I don't really have a problem with that. I put the other one on the bottom, yeah. Because um, I should have some wounds in my hand. I don't have it. I have a ton of wounds now. I don't have any. So I gain a wound and it goes into my, my deck there. Now the other monsters are going to activate. So this one is going to move over. And he kills one icon with the hammer. So he would kill the stonemason, but the guard steps in. He has a reaction and the guard dies instead. So my guard's dead, which is good because I like the stonemason power. But I still get a corpse card added to my discard deck. Now this guy's going to activate and on one, he kills the mayor, or the merchant, whoever has a crown, which I have one. Unfortunately, again, I have a guard, so he steps in, and he's going to go in there, and I will gain another corpse into the village. And now the monsters gain power, so there's three, four, five, so now they have nine. So we'll add monsters, so we're going to add the Zephyr. So that's going to be four. One, two, three, four. We'll flip this over. And this is a Storm Reaver, which fortunately, you see that he was one from earlier, um, or we had one of those earlier. He is not coming out to play yet because we have five power, but he will be out next turn. And now it is our turn. The heroes can act. Oh boy. Um, this is not going well for us whatsoever. So I'm going to use the Merchant's Aid to gain a coin. So we're banking on coins. So now I think we can start looking at building walls. But let's see, I have... Oh, look at this. Aid, when buying a wall, reduce its cost by two. So that helps. <laughs> so let's see, I have three prowess in my hand and I have three coins. So what can I buy with three prowess? So no, no. I don't have any spells in my hand to spend. So this is just coins and prowess. Unfortunately, we do not have enough prowess. We're, we're shy on prowess. So we can't build a wall. It kind of stinks. Uh, let's explore. Let's look at the top card on the villager deck. It's an explorer. We'll keep him. And I'm not going to put that to the bottom of the deck because there might be something worse. Although it could get us to the Shadow Rift card quicker. Um, yeah, I'm gonna spend a coin to put this monster at the bottom of this deck. We'll flip this, and we have a Zephyr next, which is easier to kill, I suppose. We will use this card, right? Let me think of this. Let me, th let me think this through. We'll play this card to do a damage on this guy, which means we're gonna Tempest. Right? Yes. Uh, so here, this is interesting. It says once per round. It's one big round, right, for the solo? I don't know, well, whatever, we'll take a Tempest. So this one, we have to kill a guard. We don't have a guard. Tempest cards do not hunt, so typically what happens if you, like if a monster were to kill a guard, you didn't have a card, you'd start going through your villager deck and they would kill a villager instead. Um, Tempest cards do not hunt. So we got off light on that one. And then this one here, the Breeze. Heroes choose a monster. If it's damaged, it heals one. If not, shuffle and draw another Tempest. I can't keep healing the Windcaster. It defeats the purpose. So we're going to shuffle and draw another Tempest. Um, this might be a bad idea for us, but whatever. Monsters gain one per hero. So one, two, three. That is awesome. <laughs> okay, but I did a damage to him, um, which I take a wound for. Pretty sure I put the damage on him, didn't I? Yes. We did two, he did two, I took one off. Yes, yes, I think I did put one on him. Uh, talking too much. Um, so I have three. I really want a seal. We're going to take a frenzy. 
At this point, the frenzies, if you have the wound in your hand, you can discard it when attacking, and that uh, keeps you from gaining a wound and you add an extra damage. So we're, we've got a lot of wounds in our hands, so that's going to help us. And now that ends our turn, so I will uh, clean up, nothing to clean up. I'll draw five, there's two. Let's shuffle our hand. So I hope you guys are getting a feel for how this game plays. Um, I find it to be really immersive, to be honest with you. I, I like the villager aspect. I like the visitor aspect, the fact that you have to mitigate people dying. So we have a farmer, backstabber, smith, guard, and mayor. Let's shuffle these two. I guess I could have bought one of these guys, but I think we need to do more walls. Grave digger and an explorer. And now they are going to activate next turn. All right, heroes are going to act. Oh, cool. So I have a heroism card. So you see this is wild, and when I draw this, I get to draw another card. And I drew a prowess. So, ooh, this is going to help us. I'm going to use, well, what do we have here? I've got aid, use as a prowess. So that helps us. Um, I'm going to spend these three and use the farmer's aid to buy a seal because we need to seal these off. And then this, I can use it as a coin. I can use it as a spell or a prowess. It's not going to do me any real good. Can I buy anything with just coins? I've got two. This would add a third. I'm going to take, I'm going to buy, so I'm going to spend these two and use my heroism card as a coin. I'm going to buy the Armor of Mist, which lets me, it, it's permanent loot. It remains in play, and whenever I gain a wound, I draw a card. I'm going to need that here going on. And then I'm going to strike the Windcaster. It's going to do one melee damage. Because I, I'm going to take a wound for that. And because I hurt him, um, I'm going to Tempest. So let's see, the first one is Shock the Hero with the next Heroism. Token discards a card. If it's not a spell, I gain a wound. Well, it's a wound. It's not a spell, so I gain a wound. See how these add up really quickly in the deck? And then the other Tempest is a Cyclone, break a wall. Well, guess what? I don't have a wall, so <laughs> the joke's on you. All right. What would have happened is if I broke a wall, it'd have to be discarded. Okay. And now I have no more cards. There's nothing left to do. So clean up, clean up. Everybody does a share. Draw cards. One, two, three, four, five. Bye-bye, villagers. Oh, and by the way, I had the backstabber. I didn't pay attention to this. When the town is revealed, if there's a uh, guard in play, which there is, the backstabber goes in the bottom of the traveler deck. So that actually helps us. Yay! It's one benefit. We have a heretic. That's bad. We have a vagrant. That's bad. We have a child. That's good. We'll shuffle up our village or our town deck. We have a corpse. We have so here's the deal. See how we have four red cards here. If this child was not there, if this was a red card, we would have just lost the game. That has escalated very quickly for us. So let's see here who visits us. The witch and the robber. Awesome. And what the robber does makes everything more expensive. Put the robber there. <laughs> this is not looking good for us. And the monsters are going to do their thing now. So the monsters act. So this guy moves down here. Each hero gains a wound. Yay! And actually, so I, I've played this wrong. I just checked the rules to verify. When it says each hero and you're playing a solo game, you gain two. That hits you at twice. I don't like that. Uh, anyway, let's see this monster here. Uh, and stop, step two, each hero gains a wound. So I gain two wounds. Wish I would not have read that rule and clarified it. And then he's going to move over and that's going to kill a guard. I don't have any guards, so the monster's going to hunt. So we'll flip this and he'll kill the first one he finds. So we lose our merchant, which stinks. So he's going to go on the bottom of the deck here. We'll add a corpse card. Now he could have killed a vagrant or a heretic or a bad guy, but no, didn't work out for us. And then this one's going to move 
Each hero gains a wound. So I'm going to gain two more wounds. I wish I would not have read that rule. Because you realize, look at how many wounds. We're not. This is not good for us. And then we will, uh, the monsters act. Monsters are going to gain power. So three, one, two, three. So I'll know that that wrapped four, five, one, two. So then we're going to add monsters. So here's four, one, two, three, four. Flip this. The Tornado Walker for six. One, two, three, four, five, six. He costs three less if the Heretic's in play. So let's bring that one back up. So, because the Heretic is in play. I'll flip this one. Five. Oh, of course. Two, three, four, five. And when he enters play, Bolt Sprites, each hero gains a wound. Each hero. Again, let me show you this. Negative effects that target each hero or all heroes hit the player twice. So that is two more wounds. And I would be really surprised if we make it through the end of this, I don't know, maybe another two turns. All right, so here's my hand. Heroes are going to act. I've got two prowess and a spell. And if I cast my spell, the first, pure, per, the first hero to play a spell this round gains a wound. Um, that would just be me because it's not each hero or all heroes. Uh, I'm going to play that. And I will gain a wound for that. But because that's in play, you may prevent a hero from gaining a wound. So I'm going to prevent that. And I will draw a card. And I will draw a wound. Uh, all right, so I'm going to use this prowess to keep my holy aura in play during cleanup. So I want to keep that in mind. I have one prowess. I can't do anything with that. Nothing helps. So we're going to clean up. That's going to stay in play. Draw five cards. That was a total waste of a round for us. Refill the town square. We have a farmer, which gives us aid as an extra prowess. We have a corpse. We have a smith, a mayor. Stonemason, so that was okay. We'll flip these two cards. The Butcher, the Baker, the Candlestick Maker. Monsters are going to act next turn. So what do we have? We have two wounds. We have a Strike, an Explore, and a Prowess. Oh, who's on the top here? Thunderbird. Whenever a hero plays a spell, that hero gains a wound. Oh, boy. Um, yeah, we're in over our heads on this one at this point. The Prowess is going to... Keep that holy aura from going. I'll explore to look at the top card of the visitor deck, which is a guard. I want to keep him on top because I would like to pay for him to bring him into play. Um, I don't have a coin to put that card on the bottom of the deck. And I'm left with two wounds and a strike. So I'm going to strike. One, two, three, four, five, six. That allows us to kill him. So he takes damage. So he's going to do his Tempest. So we'll draw two Tempest cards. Screaming Wind. Each hero plays a coin or draws a wound. We're going to draw two wounds. Because it says each hero. And then the other one is Blinding Flash. Heroes may discard cards if the total number is less than the number of players. Uh, kill a Villager and each hero gains a wound. I only have two. So we're going to kill a Villager. We'll kill the mayor. We'll kill the mayor. Because I don't have a lot of these super strong. Oops. Because we killed the mayor, he goes to the bottom of the visit the traveler deck. We'll gain a corpse. And each hero gains a wound. So we're gonna take two more wounds there. Um, but you know what though? Not all is lost because we prevented him from going to the monster power area, and we get two heroism. Because of that, although looking at the state of things, I'm not sure, too little too late. Uh, and the wounds are going to do us nothing. I already set this aside to pay for that. Oh, although we have one more, it's not going to do anything. So yeah, we got nothing. Bad turn. So clean up. We paid for that. We'll draw five cards. One, two, three, four, five. Please be the right cards. <laughs> we will go ahead here and clean up the town square. So we have a guard. 
So that's good. We know that we're not going to lose this turn. Yay. But no promises for the next turn. We have a guard, and we have a corpse. Bad. Corpse. Bad. Corpse. Bad. And a stonemason. Not bad. These two guys are going to go run away. A guard. And a bard. So it's cheap to bring the guard back. Monsters are going to act. Okay, so these two are going to move down. Um, you know what? We should have tempested when we killed that monster because of Nimbus's power. Tempest when any monster, including this one, die. Um, we could do it. The only thing is if it involves card. Okay, we needed to do it, so let's, let's do that. So we would have tempested for that. Breeze, heroes choose a monster. If, it, if it's damaged, it heals one. If not, shuffle and draw another Tempest. Um, we would sh shuffle and draw another Tempest. And this one, kill a guard. The guard wasn't in the uh, village before, so that's okay. We'll draw the top one here for the shuffle. Each hero discards a wound or gains a wound. I had a handful of wounds, so I think we're good there. So now let's shuffle this back up for the cleanup. So I don't think that would have impacted us too much. Each hero gains a wound. Okay. So now Nimbus is going to move here. Each hero gains a wound. So we will gain two wounds. Tornado Walker is going to move here. Tempest. So we're going to Tempest two times because of this wild storm. Heroes choose a monster. If it's damaged, it heals one. If not, shuffle and draw another Tempest. So we're going to draw another Tempest. Monsters gain one per hero, so that's three. One, two, three. And then this one. Discard a villager from play. Put any cards in the visitor spaces on the bottom of the traveler deck. So we'll just discard a corpse. Does that count as a visitor? A villager? No, I don't think it does. It's not a villager. Uh, we will discard... Um, Stonemason. So that was those two. He's going to move over here in Tempest. So we're going to draw two Tempest cards. Boy, this is not good for us. The hero with the next heroism, that's me, discards a card. If it's not a spell, each hero gains a wound. I discard a card if it's not a spell. I'll discard my wound. It's not a spell, so each hero gains a wound. So that each hero equals two for me. That, I don't like that rule. That's way too much. Negative effects that target each hero hit the player twice. That is awful. Then the other Tempest breaks a wall. We don't have any, so joke's on you. Move this one over. Kill a hammer. We don't have one. The guard steps in. Well, actually, we would flip because it's going to go hunting because there's no hammer icon. So here's a smith, and then the guard would step in to prevent that from happening. So our guard would die... And we gain another corpse. This one here. Kill a crown. We don't have one, so we'll flip. What dies? Oh, it kills a vagrant. Uh, that helps us. Gee, thanks. And then this here. Uh, each hero gains a wound. And you know what? I'm going to use this time to prevent a hero from gaining a wound and draw a card. Huh. Yay, Drew Frenzy! Woo! Okay. Oh, that was Monsters Act. Monsters gain power, so it's three plus two. So they have nine. So add monsters, that's five. One, two, three, four, five. Whenever a hero plays a spell, that hero gains a wound. And Zephyr is four, so he's going to come right into play. Got to have another Shadow Rift coming up. Oh, okay, um, here's what we have. So this is pretty good. Now, what's going to be the best for us to attack? So we have three strikes. I'm going to play the Frenzy. Once per round, I may discard a wound. I don't have a wound. <laughs> the one time I don't have a wound. And I'm not going to be able to keep that in play. I'm not going to be able to keep anything in play. All right, well, I could do three damage here on something. These guys are going to go this next turn. Um, actually, I might be able to kill one of them. 
Yeah, I'm going to take these three, I'll play those, I'll take a wound for the melee attack, but I'm going to do three damage to Nimbus. And then I'm left with one prowess, can't do anything with that, except for I keep one of these active, I'm going to keep Frenzy going. Because that lets me, that keeps me from getting a wound. Look at this, look at this deck. So cleanup phase, these are coming in. The auras are getting shuffled. Not the auras, the Tempest. So I really have to say, I am playing terribly on this one. Um, I have never not had a wall at this point. I haven't sealed anything off. Yes, I riffle shuffle my cards. No, I don't sleeve my cards. How many people are shaking right now? Because it's scary. Um, but yeah, I've, I've never, I don't think I've ever had this poor of a turnout for me. Ugh. The wounds are coming up so quick. So I'll draw five cards. Three, four, five. Monsters are going to activate next. Huh, can we survive a turn? Heretic, that's bad. Corpse, that's bad. Child, yay, child. Corpse. Robert, once again, the child has saved us from death. These two are going to go run away. A sage and an innkeeper. And yeah, I just put that there. So what do we have here? Nothing good. A couple of wounds, some prowess. Um, I'm going to use my prowess to get rid of a wound. All I can do, I rolled the dice thinking that I'd be able to get rid of him before he fell off. I wish I would have put the damage here. I didn't. That stinks. I thought I'd have something. I'm going to use a prowess to get rid of a wound, though. That's what I'm going to do. Clean up. These both get discarded. Uh, deal up five cards. One, two, three, four, five. I don't need to shuffle the Tempest because I just did. So these go. All right, Farmer, so we know we're not out this round. We are going to lose this game. So if you're a betting person and you're betting that we're going to win, I'm sorry. I am sorry. These two are going to go. A guard and a guard. And here's what our hand is. Couple of wounds, prowess, explore, strike. Um, these two are going to act. And they're going to go here and they're just going to count towards the power. So I'm just going to put them like that because we have three icons. So I'm going to move down, kill a guard, kill a guard, kill two guards. That's awful. So there are no guards here, so we'll flip. That's a corpse. We'll flip. He's going to kill the stonemason. We are for sure going to lose in the next hand. The next kill a guard. He kills a robber, so that helps us. I'll take it. Uh, number two, Tempest. So we're going to draw two Tempests. Kill a guard. Tempest does not hunt. We don't have a guard, so we're fine. Each hero discards a wound or gains a wound. Ha! I got no problem there. Here's my wound. Discarded. This one here, each hero gains a wound. So we'll take two wounds. Each hero gains a wound. Take two more wounds. Each hero gains a wound. This is some kind of sick joke. Uh, and this one, kill a guard, there are none. We flip, heretic, he'll get killed. Yay, that helps us. Monsters gain power. So here we go, they're gonna gain three. One, two, three, plus one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now we have eight. So add monsters, so there's five. That brings us down to three. And this is six. Okay, we're okay there. Uh, we should just turtle and quit while we're ahead. So I'm going to play the Explore card. We'll look at the Villager deck. We'll keep the Prince in play. 
I've got nothing. Like I have no walls. I I know I bought a seal card. I need to buy more, but I don't have enough. So I have two. I have two prowess. I can get rid of a wound. I'm going to take a wound when I do an attack. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to use this prowess and that prowess to strike, which will do a damage, but it's going to be ranged. And I'm going to hit the furthest thing out. And that's it for that. So again, you don't gain a wound for a, a range. Deal up five cards. Here we go. The town is refreshed. Bad, a corpse. Okay, a smith, we're still alive. We're still in this, but uh, not for too much longer. I should have taken a coin instead of taking a ranged attack and brought a guard into play. I'm going to do that. I'm going to take a wound for my ranged attack instead. I'm going to use those two to take a coin. I'm going to take a coin to buy a guard and put them into, into play here. And I shuffle that into my deck. I did that wrong. Farmer and a guard. This will go here. I'll flip two. Eh. Prince. Master at arms. They're going to activate next. And we get another go. Handful of wounds and two strikes. I can use as a prowess. When another town card would be, uh, pay one when attacking to deal a damage. I don't have enough money. I'm going to do two strikes to the Thunderbird. I will take a wound because they are not ranged. They're down to two damage there. That's all I got. So these get discarded. I'll drop my next hand. And I mean it. This is, we'll survive the village here. I think this is going to kill us. We're going to have too many monsters. And yay, child, for saving our lives again. What's in our hand? Four wounds and a strike. That stinks. All right, these are gone. I really thought I had a chance at winning. I breezed through, I played the Tempest uh, a couple days ago, and I breezed through. I thought, okay, I got this one. Uh, monsters are going to act. This one, he goes away. Adds power. So this one's going to Tempest. This one's going to Tempest. So let's do the two Tempests first. So the first Tempest. Oh, let's shuffle all the Tempests in. Let's see, what do we got? What do we got? Tempest, Tempest. Hero with the next heroism token discards a card. If it's not a spell, each hero gains a wound. I'll discard my wound, and I will each hero gain a wound, so I'll take two wounds. The other Tempest is each hero pays a coin or gains a wound. Two wounds. That's a stupid rule. Uh, all right, and then the other one's going to Tempest, so we'll take two cards. Each hero discards a wound or gains a wound. I got that all day long. I'll discard this wound here in my hand. The other Tempest is... Range attacks deal no damage for the rest of the round. Fine. <laughs> this one here, kill two guards. I don't have any guards, uh, so he's going to hunt. We'll go into here. He can't kill a corpse. So we'll continue the hunt. No good. Continue the hunt. Kills a farmer. We gain a corpse and kills a smith and we'll gain another corpse. We have, we have lost this game. Uh, all right. Kill a crown. We don't have any here, so it's going to hunt. So the guard dies. We gain a corpse. Um, tempest. So first one, break a wall. We don't have a wall. The second one is discard a villain. Oh, a villager from play. Put any card in the villager space on the bottom. Okay. 
So the downpour, the child's going to run away. This guy's going to go to the bottom of our deck. And that was two, I think. I'm going to say that was two. I'm pretty sure it was. And here we're going to kill a guard. There's no guards. We're going to hunt. He kills a backstabber instead. Wow. Monsters are going to gain power. So one, two, three, plus one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to go from six to 12. We'll add monsters. This guy comes out for six. So we have six left. He comes out for four. We're going to have two left. Oh, that works out. And a wild storm is going to come out for one. It's another one of these. Whenever a monster takes a tempest action, draw and resolve two cards instead of one. So that is four. I'm assuming that stacks. And what do we have here? The bolt sprites. So here's how it works. When you play this game, you cut the monster deck into two and you put one shadow rift in one, one in the other, you shuffle and then you stack it. So you go through, you know, half the deck you'll draw one, the other half you'll draw the other. We are almost through the monster deck. That, other, that was a terrible shuffle for us. Ugh. Okay, well, we'll strike. We'll do a damage to this guy. And that's it. We can't do anything else. We have no villagers, nothing but wounds. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, we'll draw up our hand, but this is where we are going to die. There is no way. We've got a handful of wounds and a prowess. That does no good. We'll refill the town square. We've got a dead body. We've got another dead body. What are our odds that we will draw the child? Shuffle these really good. We've got a corpse, a corpse, and we have lost the game. <sighs> it's not a big surprise. That was a horrible showing. I promise you I'd never play that poorly. Um, that each hero stacked up with all these wounds. I mean, there was no coming back from that. I did not mitigate that well. Where is our seal card? I did buy a seal, didn't I? Yeah, one. It's right there. Uh, we could have used that to seal a shadow rift, and I would assume that our next card, because I put a couple on the bottom, this has to be the shadow rift. This has to be the sh There it is, right there. It, that was on the bottom because... Or second from the bottom, because that, that was the Nevarios was the first one that we put on the bottom. Uh, so we lost. We continue our losing streak in our solo Saturdays. Um, again, this is Shadow Rift. I love this game. Uh, I hope it translated well over the, the solo playthrough as I talked through everything. I think I lost some strategy as I was talking, um, but the game is fantastic. It just flows and feels immersive because you're building corpses. Typically, you'll be able to bring the Grave Digger into play, which, uh, where's the Grave Digger? Not the monster truck either. Anybody remember that guy from the 80s? Oh, he was right here on the bottom. You know, so he's usually good because you get him and you can partner him up with your, um, which, which was your default guy that gave you a coin? The, not the mayor, the merchant. So like these two cards, you get, bring the grave digger in, the merchant's giving you a coin every time he's coming around. So you're able to remove these corpses from play. And then your guards only cost you a buck to bring back in, so you can usually get them back into play fairly quickly. And then with your prowess, you're able to heal these wounds. Our wounds got way out of control, and I blame myself for the targeting each hero that I missed. That really doubled up on our wounds. But look at our, our deck if we were to shuffle it. Um, yeah, so that was rough. I will say, too, I played with the suggested, the, um, suggested cards, because these you can randomize or whatever, much like in Dominion. And some of these, I, I wonder if I would have done better if I would have picked my own. Again, I'm still new to the game, so I've, I've, played, oh, I've played the dragon. I've played this faction a couple of times now. And I played another faction. Um, but yeah, so it, it's a difficult, I find it to be a difficult game, but I find it to be a rewarding game. Maybe the trick is to play it two-handed. Uh, I could try that again. If you want to see me play this two-handed as though I'm playing two characters, so I'm not suffering from the each character wound thing. The monsters would activate more because you do this each time. 
Um, maybe I need to do that. Uh, let me know if you want to see that if you're interested, if you want to see me try a different faction. Uh, I've got a number of factions for this. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think of the game. Again, thanks for hanging out. Please subscribe if you want to see more solo playthroughs. And hopefully we'll win next week. So, all right, guys, that's it. I'm Lee with Geek City USA. Thanks for hanging out. And we will see you next time. Cheers. <laughs> we lost. Is that? Can you be cheery about that? But, yeah, cheers. See you guys next time. Thanks.